I'm here in Buckhannon, West Virginia, which is a long way from our Victorian restoration. And I'm here to see how a traditional log becomes a structural beam, strong enough to hold up our old house. And it's done right here in one of the largest LVL factories in North America. Lance Miller is the plant manager. Kevin, this is where the process starts. Basically, logs come in from around 100 miles in radius to this site. The species is primarily yellow poplar, which makes up about 40% of the forest in this area. This first stage here, we remove the bark. We then cut them to length, and then add them into a hot water vat. In the hot water vat, they sit about eight hours, and the purpose for that is to soften the wood fiber to allow us for further peeling in the process. Kevin, this is for wood lathe. So you see them come out of the vat. We now have hot blocks that we're getting ready to peel. We scan the blocks, looking for geometric center, and you can see the laser light scan it. Now we're going to position blocks to lay and go into a ring. How long does it take to peel one of these logs? Depending upon block diameter, it can be up to three to four seconds. And we'll peel 4,000 blocks in 12 hour shift. How thin is the veneer? The veneer is about one eighth of an inch thick. How long has this plant been here? This site's been here 20 years. I have actually 11 acres under roof here. How many uh, LVLs are you putting out of this plant every week? We put out about 30,000 beans. Here's a, a sheet of the veneer, so an eighth of an inch thick. You can see it's very pliable in green state. You can't get splinters. There's no danger to touch it. It's still wet right it's now. still wet. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this stuff's going off to the dryer. All the stuff will hit the dryer next. Here we have the veneer dryer. In this process, we're taking a sheet that's about 100% moisture content that we saw on the green side, and we're putting it into about an 80-foot dryer at 400 degrees. Over the course of six minutes, we're going to take that 100% sheet down to about 3% of the moisture content. Basically, get all the water out of this wood. That's right, Kevin. Wow. And the oven, how are you guys creating the heat? So we take any wood waste that we generate, you saw some of it in the green peeling process, but we're actually firing a wood-fired boiler to create the heat. This actually consumes about 60 million BTUs worth of energy from our heat-fired boiler. It's a serious oven. Yeah. Well, in the outfit of the dryers, this is one of the most critical points in the process in the manufacturing of LVL. At this point, we're grading each single sheet of veneer. We're measuring it through a sound wave attenuation process to determine the structural properties or how strong the veneer is. We go through a visual grading system to look for any visual defects. And then finally through a moisture meter, which is verifying the certain moisture content of the veneer. So you use sound waves, visual, and moisture meter. That's correct. Wow. What are the different grades? You have anywhere from a grade one through a grade four veneer, and that allows us to mix and match them together in the manufacturer LVL to make it perform to a certain performance level. So the veneer has been dried, it's been graded. Now we're applying adhesive to it and we're bringing it into a layup. We have about 13 plies that come together at this point. And it's gonna hit this press that's about 400 degrees and it's gonna compress that wood fiber and cure out that resin. After 15 minutes, you have a LVL billet. Now it is starting to look familiar. But that is a lot of work that goes into making that thing. I mean, how much stronger is it actually? Well, let's head to the quality control lab and we'll find out how strong it is. Kevin, this is our quality assurance laboratory. This okay. is where we verify our, our product performance. So once you meet our plant technical director, Brian Wilson. Hey, Brian. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. So you're going to test some stuff for us? Yes, we're going to test an LVL beam for you today. This LVL beam is much smaller than what we manufacture out on the plant floor. It sure is. But this small beam is going to support the load of a full-size car. This little one right here? Yes. All right, can we fire it up? Sure, let's do it. So that's going now? Yes. What are you guys actually testing for? We're testing for two things here today. We're testing for how stiff the beam is. Mm -hmm. We're also testing for how strong the beam is. And by just pushing pressure down right on the center? Exactly. Got about 800 pounds. Well, you got about 800 pounds of pressure on that little piece right there. Yes. 
the stiffness portion of our test is completed now and it exceeded the stiffness test. Okay. Now we're going to test for strength. So now we're just going to put more weight on it to see when and where it breaks? Yes. All right, let's do that. Okay. Nope. Oh, hear it. Man, that's a lot of pressure, huh? Yeah. So it's holding the weight of a car? Yes. Hey. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Holy mackerel. So that broke, but I mean, what does that tell you? That was a great test. Yes, you passed. We passed. That is terrific. All right. Now, this one right here, this is the other product that you guys are making in the facility? Yes, this is Parallel Strand Lumber, PSL. All right. And we're going to test the two same properties? Yes. All right, let's fire it up. See let's what we do got. That. This one's much bigger. Mm-hmm. We're going to need our earplugs for this one. Going to get a bang out of it? Get a real bang out of it. All right. What's the weight that this one can support? A large truck. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. That's a break. That's a break. break. Is it also a pass? Definitely a pass. So this product, that product, they're all ready to go on the truck to customers. Both are ready for the customer. Terrific. Brian, thank you. Thank you. It's awesome. Thanks, Brian. Well, Kevin, this is the final stage of our mill tour. Now you see a finished product leaving for our customers. And you're going to be shipping this all up and down the East Coast. That's right, Kevin. All right, well, we appreciate you shipping some to us, and we appreciate the tour. It's good stuff. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Right, thanks, Lance. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.